Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, I wanted to do a review on this Blue Max 22 inch chainsaw I got about uh, six months ago. I uh, did a little video on unboxing it and uh, checking it out. So, as of today, um, I've cut down about 44 trees with it. And well, there's a couple things I want to talk to you about. Um, I'll hopefully help you make a decision whether or not you want to buy it or not. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of the brush pile here. I haven't had a chance to burn a lot of it. If you can see it right there. There's a little bit of carpet mixed in there, but I've burned that pile uh, three times now. And uh, like I said, I've cut 44 trees so far uh, with that saw. And most of them are like, if you can see the size of those back there. Um, there was actually one right there that was huge. Uh, it was like a 44 inch stump we had to grind out. But uh, I'm glad I kind of waited to do the review because if I would have done a review a week or two after I bought it, it would have been bad. Um, I kind of changed my mind on it now. So, uh, let's talk about a couple of things that uh, happened. Uh, these two studs here, um, I don't know if they're just pressed in or threaded in with a little Loctite, but both of these um, broke loose. So what I did, I had to uh, eventually got them out, and then I put some JB Weld in the holes, re-threaded the uh, studs, put them back in there, and I let it set for about a day or two. And that was probably a month ago, and so far, no problem. Um, so that's probably... Let's see, that's, yeah, it is, that is the only thing that broke on it. Uh, but there's a couple other issues. Um, under here, you got the air cleaner and the, uh, I believe the carburetor is under there, and I believe the spark plug is under there. Which, the spark plug uh, was another issue. Uh, let me take this off here. Yeah. So, let me see if I can get... If you guys can see the part number of that spark plug. Um, there we go. It's a BPMR7A. Uh, I, I believe it's an NGK. So this thing comes with one of the like cheapest spark plugs you can buy. And I was having problems with it. Um, starting, running, uh, you name it. And uh, a friend of mine was helping me. And... His chainsaw wasn't running very well, so he wanted to put a new spark plug in it. And I'm like, well, you know, maybe I'll put a new spark plug in this one. And I uh, went to the store. They, they couldn't uh, even locate uh, the spark plug that came with this thing. So they cross-referenced it and said, this one will work. It's a much higher quality plug. Well, it ran twice as good once I put that spark plug in there. So for whatever reason, they put a really junky uh, spark plug in this thing when it's new. But like I said, after I replaced that spark plug, it ran way better. Um, it does burn through a lot of gas. But it is a 57cc. And the old saying goes, the more horses you have, the more hay it takes to feed them. Um, so if you're sawing all day long, it will burn up a gallon of gas. Uh, no problem. Um, as far as right now, the only negative I can say about it, since you if you replace the spark plug and when you get it, either JB weld those studs in or lock tight them in or something, then this thing should run flawless. Uh, like I, I want to say, the only negative is there's no um, fuel primer bulb, which it's no big deal uh, once you get used to how to start it. So, best way I found to start this thing, turn on the on switch of course, pull the choke all the way out, and I step on it right here. And I pull it just until the first time it like wants to start to run. I mean, you'll pull it and it'll just do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, and then all of a sudden kind of want to run, then push the choke all the way in, and then you want to pull it uh, really fast, but short pulls, like maybe only, we'll say like this high, six inches, but pull real fast. 
and it will start every single time. Um, that's about all I can um, tell you on this thing. I mean, if it's, I don't know if my, you know, grandkids are going to be using this thing. I don't know how long it's going to last, but you know, for a hundred eighty dollar chainsaw and twenty two inch long blade, um, it's not bad at all. Fix the spark plug and those two studs, and it's good to go. Um, I did find the chainsaw chains on Amazon. I think they're sold by like Genie Magic or Magic Genie or something for like 10 bucks uh, a chain. And they work really well. Um, so that was kind of another plus that I just kind of stumbled on those. So anyway, I hope this review helped you out whether or not you're going to buy it or not. Um, you know, help you make a decision on it um, based on what I've done with it. Well, like I said, I haven't had it a uh, real long time. Uh, going on maybe six months. Um, but it's it's actually working really well now that I've kind of worked out those two bugs. And uh, now that I can find the chains for only $10, it's barely worth even sharpening the old ones. Um, so anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching and Hopefully you learned something from my review, and uh, just be careful uh, cutting wood. Thanks for watching.